My name is Jamie Lee. I am the public affairs reporter at PR Week. I'm sitting with Jason Schechter, the um, chair of U the U.S. corporate practice at Burson Rust Stellar. You've been with Burson now about three and a half years? Correct. And we're, you were also recently promoted to chair of the practice? Exactly. Okay. So um, what would you say are the biggest, what's the biggest difference over the past year in terms of the work you're doing with corporate clients? Uh, that's a good question. I, a year ago, we were in much more of a crisis mode where clients were coming to us more because they were managing an issue, uh, whether it be something that was a change in their business because of a financial crisis, a regulatory issue, a litigation issue, a restructuring issue. Uh, that drove uh, a lot of our corporate business last year. The difference now is that it is much more about uh, going to market, a go-to-market approach for our clients, where they are, are kind of re-emerging, they're coming out, their business has changed in some way over the past couple of years, maybe because of the financial crisis, maybe because of globalization or technology, and so now they want to go out and talk to their investors, uh, their customers, uh, the business community, uh, uh, and others uh, who, uh, and, and talk about kind of how their business has, has changed and, and what they're doing. Okay. Now, along with that and all the policy changes that mm -hmm. are uh, occurring in Washington, how, how has the focus on Washington changed the way that you're either working with your corporate clients or even working with um, public affairs and policy clients? Uh, fundamentally changed. Uh, we, you know, I, I, I wouldn't say that the wall between government relations and corporate communications has completely come down, but I would definitely say um, that it's become a lot thinner, uh, and there's a lot more crossover between what happens in New York and what happens in Washington. And I think the reasons are obvious. Look at all of the industries that have gone through real change um, from a, a legislative and regulatory process, healthcare, mm -hmm. energy, financial services. Uh, all of these areas have been completely remade over the past few years, and so as a result, uh, it's not, you can't just work in one group anymore uh, and expect that to be um, the answer. If you're in government relations, um, you need to obviously um, work closely with New York and with corporate communications and vice versa. And we're, we're, you know, companies uh, now are, are much more attuned to how public affairs fits into their overall corporate uh, reputation. Now, going forward and looking at um, the next three to six months and mm. pretty much the rest of this year, what would you say are going to be um, the big issues and trends in uh, corporate communications? I think we're seeing more transactional work. Uh, you know, there's obviously been uh, a, an easing up in the capital markets, and I think that's led to um, more um, merger and acquisition activity. Um, companies, I think, are, are looking at, at maybe doing more IPOs, more fundraising, uh, and so I think that's uh, that's part of, of of what I expect to pick up a little bit. Uh, I also think that uh, you know companies. Are, who are ready to kind of recommit resources to public relations um, are, are, are doing that now and are looking at the next uh, several months in terms of, uh, uh, you know, how do they, they get back out to, you know, their various stakeholder groups. And, and so I think we're seeing uh, multiple industries now commit resources that, frankly, were probably held since 2007 or 2008. Um, they're putting that back into, uh, into uh, corporate communications and public relations again, and I think that's, um, that work is obviously flowing to, to us, and, and, uh, and it's good, and, and I think it's, a, it's an exciting time. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much. Of course.